Buddhism is a, a way through which we can gain happiness in this life and through which eventually we can gain liberation from what we Buddhists consider to be the cycle of birth and death. So it has a kind of immediate uh, relevance to this life, how we conduct ourselves, how we find happiness here, but it also has this extraordinary grand scope of, of liberation from all the sufferings which we can experience in the different uh, forms of life that uh, exist in this universe. So, if we look at it that way, the essential point is that Buddhism is something we have to do. Buddhism is a way that we have to uh, train ourselves in terms of our behavior, in terms of how we relate to others, in terms of how we see the world. Now sometimes people say, well, does it mean it's a philosophy or is it a religion? Actually, that division is a little artificial, it's a little Western in fact. Buddhism is a way of seeing, a way of being and a way of acting. And for Buddhists, the essential point is that suffering, the difficulties that we experience in this and other lives, it just derives not from our disobedience to some creator and his or her laws, but from our ignorance of the true nature of reality. So the core, the essentials of Buddhism, is to change the way we see the world. And for that we need not just a new set of ideas, but actually to transform our perception. So Buddhism is above all else a way of refining our experience. For that we need moral behavior, which sets the foundation, meditation, by which we start to refine our awareness, and then wisdom, the insight into the true nature of our mind, the insight into the true nature of phenomena. So Buddhism is a tripartite system of training, moral behavior, meditation and wisdom. In some respects, therefore, it's more akin to a philosophy because it doesn't involve belief in an external creator nor reliance upon some savior figure. But in other ways, it's not merely a philosophy in the modern Western sense, because for us we see that mind itself does not derive from material causes. It is something which is beginningless and endless and therefore transcends birth and death. And that, of course, gives Buddhism a, a, a kind of spiritual dimension which is lacking in, in uh, mere philosophy. So Buddhism is both philosophy and religion, but above all else it's about this transformation of our perception of the world, a transformation which will transform us from beings for whom self-centeredness is a kind of habitual position with which we relate to the world, to beings of extraordinary open-heartedness and compassion to, uh, to the rest of the world. And that, of course, is in emulation of the Buddha himself, the one who awakened to the true nature of reality. So for Buddhism is that system taught by the Enlightened One, Shakyamuni Buddha, some two and a half thousand years ago. But it is not that merely by belief in the Buddha we can be saved from anything. We actually want to emulate the Buddha because what he discovered, we can discover too, through using the training that he he provided for us, his followers, his, his disciples. So finally, Buddhism is a way of becoming a Buddha ourselves. We have the potential to do so, as Buddha declared repeatedly, but if we practice his system, practice the training he left for us, we can actually arrive at that same position, a position of complete and utter freedom, freedom from self-centeredness, freedom from self-clinging, and freedom from the consequent suffering that self-centeredness and self-clinging generate. And in this way, step into our real nature, so to speak, which is a nature of boundless wisdom and compassion. So that is what Buddhism is, essentially.